Hi everyone, I am Anais. Welcome to another episode on our Well Zone TV series. Today we're gonna answer the question, what is an ecotype and what are the different ecotypes of orcas? Orsinus orca, also commonly known as killer whales or as we prefer to call them orcas, are not really whales. They are the biggest member of the dolphin family. Um, they're top predators and can be found in every ocean around the world. So orcas are very interesting animals, not only because of their coloration and high intelligence and social structures, but also because they have different ecotypes. But to understand a little bit more, we need to first understand what is an ecotype. So basically an ecotype is a population of a certain species that evolved in a different way due to different environmental factors. Um, they don't breed between each other, these different ecotypes, and they also vary not only in diet, but feeding strategies, communication skills, and social structures. There are 10 different ecotypes recognized by scientists. So scientists have separated this 10 different ecotypes based on the body shape of orcas, the feeding strategies, the communication strategies, the diet, and as well the habitat range. Even though these ecotypes can be found in the same waters, they don't really interact between each other because they do not compete for the same resource, meaning that they don't really feed on the same animals. Some orcas, as you know, feed on fish, other feed on marine mammals, some feed on stingrays, and yes, some can even feed on sharks and turtles. A few examples of these different ecotypes are Southern resident orcas, for example, have been well studied. They feed only on the Chinook salmon in North America's Pacific Ocean. They have become endangered mainly because of their diet since the Chinook salmon's abundance is in decline. In Antarctica, there are different ecotypes. There's the type A, so the orcas that tend to stay away from the ice and feed mostly on the minke whales. There's also the type B, or the pack ice orcas that feed on seals. The type C are the Ross sea orcas that are piscivores, that means that they feed mainly on fish. Types B and C have very distinctive yellowish coloration. This comes from the diatoms found on their skin, an algae. And they have as well a very prim prominent dorsal cape. Type D, or also the subantarctic killer whale, who has a very tiny eye patch and a distinct shape, has really only seen a few times in nature. Here in Azores, for example, we have orcas that do pass through once or twice a year, but we're not really certain to which ecotype they belong. As you can see, this is quite a complex subject. So now that you know a little bit more about the ecotypes, you will also know that there's still a lot of research that needs to be done on the different ecotypes found all over the world. So thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in any more fun facts about whales and dolphins. Bye guys!